Hey everyone, today I'm here to show you guys step by step a way to flawlessly lay your lace wig to get a totally undetectable, natural looking result. So the wig I'm using today is this kinky straight bob unit from My First Wig. It comes with combs on the inside as well as a pre-attached adjustable elastic band so you can get a really snug and secure fit. Here is the lace up close and as you can see the knots are making the scalp area look spotty and it's pretty much a dead giveaway that it's a wig so to help melt the wig with your real scalp so it looks like it grew straight out of your head I definitely recommend bleaching the knots and to do that I'm using this extra strength powder lightener and this 40 volume cream developer. I used about a scoop and a half of the powder and then I poured in enough developer to make a thick creamy mixture. For me, I always find it easiest to use a mannequin head to bleach the knots on my wigs and here I put on a black stocking cap and this will help to better see the placement of the lightener. Then I'm putting some plastic wrap on top, smooth it flat and pinning it down in place. And the plastic wrap is really convenient for easy cleanup so once I'm done I can just throw away the plastic covering and there's absolutely no mess. Evenly brush on a thin layer of the bleach to cover all of the parting area and by the way this wig has a 6 inch parting area. And then very carefully put the wig on the mannequin head. Before you apply the wig you want to make sure to pin the hair back so only the knots get bleached. And then position the wig so it's flush with the mannequin head and pin it down in place as well. I left this on for about 15 minutes then I took the wig off and washed and conditioned the unit and I let it air dry. Alright so to apply the wig you want to make sure your natural hair is as flat as possible and I always just rock some cornrows underneath. I'm going to put on a stocking cap and I'm pushing it back because I'm really only using this to cover the back half of my head to help the wig go on smoothly and not to snag on my hair and also to protect my ends. Next put the wig on and get it in place. And you can see the hairline is way, way too dense. And that's another dead giveaway of it being a wig. You always want the hairline to be a lot less dense than the rest of the hair, like, you know, natural hair grows. So I'm thinning that out with some tweezers. I'm just holding down the lace with one hand and starting to pluck. I always like tweezing the hairline with the wig on because it allows me to see exactly how much needs to be taken out and what the finished product will look like once I'm wearing it. And I can customize the wig hairline to suit my face and get the look I'm going for. Every so often take the hair down and comb it out to release the plucked hair and to check your progress. Now this part can take a while. Usually when I'm thinning the hairlines on my wigs, it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour at least to really get it how I want. But just be patient and keep tweezing and combing it out until you get a natural looking perimeter. Once it's thinned out to your liking, you want to clip the hair back away from the face and get the wig in position. Then carefully trim off the lace following the hairline. Trim the ear tab so that it perfectly frames your ear and lays just right. Then you want to pull the wig back so you're able to apply the adhesive. For this I'm using the Got To Be Ultra Glued and applying a thin layer all around my hairline. Once that's on, I'm going to fan it for about a minute or two to get it tacky. Then go back in and thinly apply one more layer and fan it again. I 
I'm bringing the wig forward and placing it right in front of my real hairline. As you can see, I'm using my own skin as the base for this wig and this will help it blend seamlessly. For me, trying to lay a wig cap and then the lace is just too much work and this way I feel like it looks a lot more natural anyway. And then once the wig is in place, I'm taking the back of a comb and pressing around the perimeter to get the lace totally flat. Taking a scarf and tying down the lace so it stays flat as the adhesive dries. And here it is about 15 minutes later and the wig is flat. I'm taking a very slightly damp paper towel and wiping off that excess glue. Then I'm gently brushing out the hairline to release the hair around the edges that got a little glued down. So the application is done and now all you have to do is style your wig. I really like this texture. I think it would look super pretty in a twist out, which I'll probably try next actually. But today I'm just gonna straighten it so you guys can see how it looks in a sleek bob. So I'm going in with my flat iron and this hair straightens pretty easily so I was pleasantly surprised about that. Now I'm taking some concealer and applying that on the part, then blend it in with my finger. And here you go. So this is pretty much all you have to do if you want a natural looking, flawless, undetectable lace wig install. Now I'm gonna take it a step further for those of you like me that want some baby hair. I personally prefer face framing edges. I feel like it really finishes off a style. So all you have to do is section off a very tiny sliver of hair at the edge and then cut it short. Use some edge control and a hair toothbrush to brush them in place however you like your edges to go. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial using the Kinky Straight Bob from My First Wig. I'll have all the info and a link to this unit in the description box, so be sure to check that out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.